for the viewers, Mike here. Welcome to the interview for Sins of the Solar Prophets. Joining me today for this very, very last minute interview. Uh, joining me today is Cole, Matthew, Lavo, <laughs> and Mao. Uh, Mao is the creator of this mod, but I'll let them introduce themselves. So starting with Cole, introduce yourself. Hey guys, I'm Cole, balancer and effects artist, SOTP. Lovely to sit down with you, you here, Bland Sarge. Thank you very much. And uh, Matthew? I am Idio, the lead QA at Slugfest Studios. Thanks for having me here. And uh, Lava? Lavo? <laughs> I keep getting that wrong. Hi. I'm sorry, I apologize. <laughs> No worries. Hi, uh, I'm Lavo, and I am a balance and coding lead at Sins of the Prophets. Sweet. And back to you. And last but not least, the badass out of the group. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hello, everyone. I'm Malcontent1692. I am currently the art lead for all the fancy models, textures, and pretty much everything you see that makes the game pretty. All right. Pretty cool. So, uh, first off, I just want to ask, how many people do you guys actually have working on this mod on a consistent basis? Anybody who else we wants to add to that? Probably, we, it, it's we usually have, between around 15 and, you know, 20 least, people. You know, it, it's very dozen. seasonal work. Yeah. Well, well, you said consistent, so I'd say at least a good dozen. So, a yeah. good dozen people working on it at yeah, all times? If we're, 12, if we're counting we're testers much. right now, we're around... 25, 30 people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if we're counting testers. That's a lot of people. Um, I could start listing people, actually. Uh, that, if it's a long <laughs> list. That's the long list. Okay. Oh, just, just a dozen of, like, real people, so uh, to speak. Any other YouTubers that are helping out with this mod at all? Or actually, someone... yeah. Who? Well, we, uh, we've had interviews before. Oh, that's uh, pretty cool. Oh, so I'm not the first video. one down. Recently, uh, to Spartan came on, or uh, sorry, sorry, st to, uh, to Spearhead, to Spearhead, yeah, he came on as one of our playtesters, so it's really interesting, very, very cool. That was very cool. cool. Um, another question I have is, will there be any possible other factions joining the game? Because I do know in the vanilla game there is multiple factions other than just two, so will there be a third faction like people could play as the Flood or the Forerunners, some fun stuff like that, or can you Ooh. not tell me? It's a oh. little bit classified, I would have to no, say. No, we've actually played oh. before. The oh. Forerunners. The, the Forerunners. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that like, so what cool. Because what we... Well, in, to, to give more depth and just, oh, here's name drops and things, what we eventually plan to do is have what you could call two versions of Sins of the Prophets. Mm -hmm. One what you would call, which is basically the current version known as what we'll call Wartime, UNSC versus Covenant. And then the second will also be the post-war. So we'll afterwards, have, after the events of yeah, after three. this this mass uh, where most of humanity has died and things have happened, and that's where the co the forerunners will make their reappearance, uh, reappearance, so to speak. Ooh, that's gonna be fun. I can't wait to play that. That's gonna and, be fun. Well, yeah. Halos are being destroyed. Shield worlds have been destroyed. What's going on in the galaxy? They don't know. Uh, all hell's breaking loose, pretty much. Okay, so uh, how did you, um, well, who founded this mod, and how did you guys end up joining this mod? Like, how did you get involved with it? A very, a person from a very long time ago by the name of Canada Man 7 one day sat down and was like, you know what, this game needs a Halo mod. And then for him. began an 80-year uh, story where mod got rebuilt and redone like three times. And no, made it twice. to where we are today. <laughs> to put it very. We only had one rebuild. And it's it's changed hands a few times. There's been a few different lead devs and. Wait, no, yeah. you're right. It has been three times. Because <laughs> you had a man's initial build, then you had Zombie Russ who helped save everything, and then you had the recent rebuild. But carry on. Okay. <laughs> uh, so how would someone actually, if they wanted to join you guys? And participate and you know help out with the mod how would they go by doing that or go about doing that well usually the easiest way is to contact us through mod db facebook and you know show us what you got you know what do you want to help us with and you i'll, I'll leave DR. links to that kind of stuff in the description down below everybody yeah 
you know, awesome. do you do texture artwork? Do you do modeling? You have some experience with sins coding, want to get into modding. Um, and you know, acting. we look at requests. Yeah, we, we always, we look at we requests always. to join the team. I mean, uh, we, we have a playtester application on our forums. If people want to come on as a playtester, there's a lot of avenues to come onto the team. And, you know, recently we've been bringing quite a few people, quite a few new people onto the team, you know, coders, artists, playtesters. So there's a lot of ways. Okay. So uh, next question is, uh, what if you guys had to pick one ship that is your absolute favorite, what would it be? From this game, Ooh. <laughs> you can only pick one. Oh, it doesn't dear. matter what. It has to be easy, easy, easy choice for me. You're the, the marathon class heavy cruiser of the UNSC. Good. I'm gonna have to go with Mal on that. Yeah, <laughs> the most beautiful UNSC ship ever. Hashtag <laughs> ORS Master Race. <laughs> Covey <laughs> lover. <laughs> Covey <Hard>. lover. <laughs> well, hey, hey, this is no, no, no shame and pride. No shame and pride. <laughs> uh, Bravo. Say. What is yours? This is a hard choice, but I would say just the marathon. I can't say anything about the marathon. It's a classic, and it looks cool. <laughs> oh, I see how it is. All alone. <laughs> Three marathons to a um, My favorite ship so far in the game would have to be the Autumn class because they have the Spartan assault teams, and they could just take over the ships. Oh, you got oh boy. Fun. You got uh, I'm, Well, I, should I break the bad news? You should. Okay, you go should. for it. You should. The, the, What's the, the, bad the autumn is the autumn is going the way of the dodo. Until no, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so oh man, first. come on! That's it, our only advantage in, in late era. game. Come Don't on. Worry. It'll it'll be back. We it promise. Will be we absolutely era. promise. Oh, oh, you, will, it will probably won't be a way this release but, or but upcoming we, releases. But we, oh, if, but no, it, but we'll find some. But sport and barding party will survive in one way or another. Son of a bitch. Yeah, there's uh, I'm, I'm upset there's now. Some... That sucks. <laughs> well, everybody on the team really likes the design of the autumn, and we all like the. I mean, who doesn't? The, I the mean... general cover behind it is very interesting, but there's one really big problem, and it's it's how to balance it. And we it, uh, okay, really... I can see that then because in it... the lore, it, it's got some really ridiculous stats, and we just don't know where to place that in a 1.0 build. Let it fire um, Mac guns faster. I don't give a fuck. Like it just it wouldn't fit in a war <laughs> primarily because again, also going by this, but like everything we have now is almost like this is UNSC at the beginning or at the end of the unit UNSC component war. I would say August probably the end because you guys yeah. just released the Infinity. So, but then again, well, the Infinity came after the war ended. Yeah, wait a while. Probably, actually. Yeah, the Infinity think, also like, won't survive right. the split. No. <laughs> once we once we get to the split eras, uh, you're, you're gonna definitely see some older ships, you know, maybe returning in the post-war era, but you know, that, and that's where you'll see like the autumn really reemerge, and we'll find a place for it to fit because everything well, ooh, in the UNSC is very hard. Yeah, yeah. That's another question. Yeah. A friend of mine, Talisman, he plays game. He's been playing it since the very beginning. I have it, sadly. I've I've, I've been only playing it for maybe six months, not since the very beginning. But there's one ship that you build, and they're so ridiculously small. They can't be fired at by a mech, and they're a, they're a UNSC ship. They're very, very small. They're like a Corvette. I can't remember the name of them. But you have to, like, zoom in really, really close just to see them. And they they cost, like, one to population cap. I don't know Might the name. Might have been the Mako. I think, oh, that was it. It was the Mako. We it's been a while since we had the Mako in. Um, he, he liked that actually, ship because he likes just to spam those things out, he said. Yeah, yeah, back, back when we had them in, it, that's a that's something from a much older build. Uh, you know, a few, few releases back now. And uh, I, I believe the reason we removed it is it, it's, I don't, I don't even think it, it had Max on it. It was, we, it didn't. The, the main reason we removed it was because we had a desire to put in the Stalwart. And, well, the only role it could fill was the Mako's role. Okay. Um, it just, it's just a, uh, I'm asking this question because my buddy can't be here today. Um, but would there be a chance that Mako could come back? Possibly. It is well, the, actually... Yeah, it's in the game. Level. Yeah. I'll, I'll handle it. It's actually in the game. It's the militia. Like yeah, the, I mean, but it, would it be something for us to build and we can use it again? 
unlikely because again it fills the exact same role as the Star Wars as a Star Wars. Star as a Star Wars. Okay. So, I like I like the Star Wars, especially the voice actor for that. That that's just. I mean, so it's, I mean, sure, the makeup looks good, but what would you have it do? Spit a whole bunch I mean, of it does at the people. exact same thing as a Star Wars. <laughs> I'm a yeah. Guy. There's there's a to you, to to describe the problem with it is there's a really big role overlap to what the Mako used to do, what the Star Wars does now. Um, there wouldn't be a very easy way to re-implement the Mako into the role that it used to serve. But, uh, you know, once we get to that faction, you know, era split, sometime down the line after 1.0, you know, we'll put some thought into maybe re-implementing the Mako somewhere into the playable build, or, okay. you know, we'll never know. But it does serve the same role as a Star Wars, which in the lore was available at the same time. But the Mako is actually a fanon based design it's not i don't believe it's actual canon it's just something that one of our artists came up with and was like that's just true all right that's that kind of goes into my next question is where do you guys get all your content for both unsc and the covenant i mean do you look at books do you look at fan fiction i mean where do you guys get all your ideas i just feel like i can uh throw in some opinions on this one well since you're the artist Um, so. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> so uh, most of our stuff, we we try to stick pretty well to the the actual lore. So I mean, we go on like Halopedia and we like look over pictures of ships, or we look at like concept art, or just like concept concept art that uh, past artists have drawn. Um, recently, we've been doing covenant structures, which are pretty much all based on concept art that other artists have done in the past that look really nice. Um, but usually. It's usually it's all straight from the lore. We like being very, uh, very accurate, I should say. Okay, but trying to keep it balanced at the same time. Yeah, yeah. we we do, and yeah. we have a few designs that aren't actually like uh, in the lore, uh, like the OSS uh, battle carrier for the Covenant. The and... best Covenant ship, in my opinion. <laughs> it's, yeah, yeah, it's pretty. Good. The it's Titan pretty... they got, I, I I kid you not, me and my buddy were playing and. Just it, in 20 minutes, they have one of those on our doorstep, and they're just like, "Oh hi, you puny little humans!" And we're just like, "Oh crap, we have an army that just got obliterated, and we have nothing to stop you now." Crap! Yeah, those those ha- Titan is me. It's me. Yeah, but I actually managed when it attacked me because it, it attacked my buddy, wiped out his fleet, then turned, went to my planet. When it got there, as soon as it jumped in, it died in fight. I think it was like 10 seconds. Because it jumped right in the middle of all my Mac guns. <laughs> my planetary Mac guns. They all just focused fire. Well, they were firing other things, but I just told it to fire, focus fire, and they just one shot at it and it just died. I was happy. I was very, very happy. He was pissed. I was happy. <laughs> there, there is nothing more satisfying in Sins of the Prophets than <laughs> Bull, killing that's... a covenant type in under 10 seconds. <laughs> Uh, challenge for you guys to do that. Okay. Um, for our next question, uh, where do you guys get all your awesome music? Because, you know, it reminds me a little bit of Tron a little bit mixed with Halo. It's really hard to put a name on it, but it's really good music. Yeah, yeah. It's it, it's definitely very, very good. And um, it's actually from our own composer who's on the team, Wasim Faraz Butt. And uh, he does all the music, custom work, com- custom composes it all. And uh, it's all custom music. It's we don't have any remixes or anything. And uh, we went for a more unique uh, musical tone for the mod. Um, something that you know you might not hear in the other Halo games, but you know it's not too far fetched. You know, I know. To it, imagine. It, it, yeah. My opinion is it perfect. Fits. This mod, as it is right now, I would actually go and probably pay money for it because it's almost a standalone game by itself. It is that oh. good. I think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> So tear rolled down my face. <laughs> well, it is a very good game. I mean, you guys have things flushed out so well. The hardest mode in this game ever is the flood survival. I kid you not. That is so freaking hard. And I feel oh, bad for any you're, covenant. You're right. I feel bad for any covenant <laughs> player. Call wink, wink, nudge, nudge. That has to take on the flood because shields don't help anymore. I found out. <laughs> well, what if I were to tell you it was about to get worse? Oh, I God. put my pencil down. I am gonna write this down. Please tell me. Okay, so so you all know how the smuggler, uh, what's it called, Lavo? Uh, New DLC. No, we can't we can't use outlaw sectors. 
Well, it's still there's still been some changes to the pirates and stuff that are minor enough that have finally pushed me into saying and thinking that we need to start looking at redoing some parts of the flood, uh -oh. and that may or may uh -oh. not include making them worse. <laughs> Imagine a more. I plan to make. We plan to make it worse. Guys, help me! Yeah. No, that's not. Please, help me shank him. No, we can't let him do this. The flood already hard as it is. It's an abomination. No! Oh. Well, no, no exact specifics, but uh, uh yeah, we're, we're going to be doing things to them, and they're going to be... Prepare yourselves. <laughs> yeah, prepare yourselves. Um, my next You're question... Prepare your body. <laughs> my... <laughs> no. Uh, for my next question, uh, have you guys plan on ever doing any other mods for any other game once you're done with this one? Mom? Well... What? Well, um, not we, this is an action, this, I actually can, we have, it's, we have, well, for now, we mentioned earlier, we plan to do, um, V, what you, what, the post war. Yeah. Um, there's also a little yeah. side project being worked on by myself and another guy. It's a very small reskin project. Um, I don't, not entirely ready to announce it publicly what it is yet. Okay, but once you but are, let me know. We'll we'll go over that game too. Cause... It's, it's it's more of a reskin, but it's something that a number of people have been requesting. Can you give That's us a I'm hint or a clue? No. No. I've already given you too much. I've already given you too much. Classified per Oni Section Three. Damn Oni, you bastards! AKA, AKA Unicracking. <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. I feel like that's a clue right there, but I, I'm not, I don't know. Uh, okay, so uh, my next question is, uh, what is the plan for the next upcoming patch? What, what, what's coming out? What's the changes? How much pain are you going to cause to your fellow uh, to people of this mod? Lava is doing the big change in that regard. <laughs> uh, don't leave me in suspense, guys. What's, what? You guys are kind of. Yeah. We, we're we're complete completely redoing the planet and economy balance, completely. Okay. Uh, like, like how is that current gonna work? system? Like like no, it's completely being redone from scratch, basically. Oh. Um, yeah, the old the old <laughs> yeah. balance for the planets was a little bit rickety and a little bit patchwork and a little bit not that great. So. So you know you know what we're like yeah you know what, no. Redo it all. Okay. Lights, um, camera, action. Like, what kind of changes are you guys trying to implement, or have you not decided that yet? Uh, actually, we do have the working, the base skeleton working model in right now. Um, the big thing is now, it's the big difference with comparison to the current vanilla, I mean, not vanilla, but the current release of a mod, is in general, um, there's less, going to be less logistics loss in general, amongst, like, the entire distribution. Terrans are still ter temperates and archipelagos are still going to be just powerful because you know, they had the space for this sort of thing, yet. and of course halos and shield worlds as well. Um, and the other thing is there's also been a big adjustment to tactical slots. So current, it's you're not necessarily going to have as easy of an of a time as the UNSC doing a very extensive defense. Unless, of course, you end up with, say, a shield world or a halo or a temperate as a choke point. Then you're golden. All right. Um, let's see. What's the next question? I got to look at all my notes. I got so many questions. All the list. I got, yeah, the list, man. I got a list. Hold on. Let me look at my book. Um, okay. Uh, well, I have a few questions here from people that have asked me to ask you. I asked in my announcement video for this. Uh, for my viewers to leave questions to ask you guys and everywhere else I put it I kept looking to see if anybody asked anything so this is from William Nelson Jr. will there be hero ships I think that's what he's asking I mean he asked this long thing but I shortened it down will there be hero ships yes yeah okay we're actually looking we're thinking about maybe doing it for an extra release no promises but okay you might want to think about maybe having a spirit of fire jump into your somewhere next release just just, just keep that in mind it might, it might happen it just might okay well <laughs> that's going good okay so this one's from ryan good um oh, let me, 
So will there be any other type of game modes in which you have to battle over a Halo ring? Stuff like that. Like, will there be a game mode like there will be a Halo ring yeah. and you guys have to fight over it? Yeah. I'll let, maybe cool. You have some interesting thoughts here. Otherwise, I can answer it. Uh, well, Lavo, you were the brain. You were the okay. creator of the idea, but okay. Then I'll then I'll explain it. Um, as you may or may not know, currently in the game, there's this um, King of the Hill like mode. Uh, like capture. I forget the exact name. Occupation victory. That's it. But that mode is rather lacking oh, in boy. several aspects. <laughs> Namely, you can't make custom maps where you place this occupation planet. So, but what I what I, what I figured out was based on a system, a buff chain system that's been that was devised by a fellow modder named uh, Goafan77 and myself. We there's a, a way to make a planet that you fight over that once you capture it you win the match Man, that's gonna be fun and hard um, especially for the humans because once the covenant get a stronghold they don't go out very easy um, uh, no nope, definitely not with people. those patrol stations um, <laughs> I ran into one of the well, uh, I yeah I'll tell you that in a second yeah well that's that's pretty much that's the plan is gonna be that and we're gonna we're gonna have fun with that and it's gonna be a lot a lot of things there Ah, and cool. uh, yeah, that's that's what we're gonna do. And uh, should, should I reveal what we plan to make you fight over, guys? Um, uh, that's up so. to you guys. Yeah, I th I think it's good. Yeah, I think we've the said arc. It. Yeah. The arc. Yes, you will fight over the arc, which is also constructing Halo a Halo ring or two. Oh boy! Oh great! <laughs> uh, that kind of you brings up my next up question, universe. but yeah. Um. Another person, I believe it was Talisman, he wanted me to ask this one. Um, or at least me and him talked about it. Is if there are Halo rings, is there a possibility if, to detonate them? No. No. Well, other than outs, not. Like, not instead of, like, you know, taking out the whole <laughs> galaxy, the, the solar system it's in, everything inside, or in the no. gravity well it's in, everything just dies. No. 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 <laughs> just no. no. Oh, um, dang it. Except Come on, give us humans another weapon dead. to kill the but, Covenant. But you will get to see them detonate, though. I think Cole had that cool concept for this, for the aforementioned King of the Hill mode. Can you answer that particle thingy? Uh, Cole? the particle? Uh... Yeah, what you're planning for the arc and the victory mode in that. Well, we basically, if you, if you win with the arc under your control, you're going to see, hopefully... The rings get launched from the Ark and go place themselves around the galaxy, and then then you win. You win. That would be pretty cool. Now, if you capture a Halo ring proper in the King of the Hill mode, which I think we're, we're planning on doing something like that in conjunction with the Ark, aren't we, Lavo? Uh, no, we're not doing anything separate. It's literally just the Ark. There's oh, nothing okay. else to capture. Yeah, just the Ark. Anything. Have it yeah. send out its rings and... Do the, the whole. Okay. Your galaxy's dead now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your galaxy's dead. Boom, you're gone. Bye bye. End of story. Um, yeah. my next question it's is, I. am Sorry. Everything will die except for like the arc itself. Well, that's how it's gonna work. <laughs> well, yeah, it's the arc. It's meant to survive. But my next question is, and I've seen this on the forums. Uh, something really, really big coming for the Covenant. Something huge. Looks like a saucer. Flying disc. Uh -huh. <laughs> the purple egg. The purple Cole, egg. It's time for us. <laughs> okay, so y'all know the Haven, right? You love it? You, you want to use it? Well, too bad. It's dying. And this thing is coming to replace it. The Haven? Yeah, oh, the, the Covenant Starbase. Okay. So. I hate. Th those things, you know. I don't mean to interrupt real quick, but yeah, those things seem intimidating, but you focus fire on it, it's just dead instantly. It's not very which intimidating. Is, which is why we want to kill it, it dead. <laughs> so, 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 yeah. you may have seen the little egg shaped saucer thing on our Facebook, and maybe ModDB if you click back a few images, and that is our new baby. I'll leave so, a link to you guys, go take a look at that in the description. Yeah. 
basically, have you ever found yourself so deep into your enemy's territory that you're now running low on ships, troops, supplies, and everything? No. And basically, basically <laughs> you're about to get pounced on. Well, that's where this comes in. It will allow you to rebuild your ships and resupply your fleet on the go. What? A mobile frigate factory and resupply yard. Oh, that's so mean. What do the humans get? Uh, nothing. Oh, huh. Well, well, well they oh, no, no, no. That's right. I'll let Mal jump not, in not, here. This is... Yeah, not, not, not such in the case of a star base, but the UNSC is getting something new. That's going to be quite a big game changer for them. Oh, the double Mac gun thing I keep seeing or that, hearing about? That is it. The Sweet. Reach style Super Mac. Oh, the most powerful Super Macs ever created. Oh. Schmack em ups. Schmacks. Schmacks. Is our, 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 our little in house name for them right now is the Schmack. Because it's go up and Schmack you covenant down. Um, yeah. I got a. Well, the question is um, I see it does double fire, it fires two shots every five seconds now does it fire two shots at one target or two sh uh, two shots at two We've... in uh two different no targets? it's it basically both shots are hitting a single target With so no, potentially taking out two targets at once no no it's one target like oh, it's wow. one target so every 10 seconds we have seen uh in certain testing areas where it'll shoot and it'll kill something really fast and then it'll switch targets and the second barrel barrel will shoot at something else and then blow that out too well really really pretty and interesting <laughs> it's very nice it's it's very hard to uh <laughs> to repeat and we're trying to figure that out but it does yeah. look very cool it's that. only happened a couple times and we can't really figure out how we did it <laughs> don't don't fix it don't fix it the humans need all the adventures we can get. Trust me, we're only human. <laughs> which, is, which is exactly why I made this thing for everyone. Thank you. Thank you. You are welcome, uh, <laughs> um, Is there any other things you guys want to announce or have anything you'd like to say about the game or anything at all? No, um, I don't know. Mal, Cole, anybody? Uh, well, it's a little, little tad bit tangential, but, uh, we're looking for map makers, so like, if you know Galaxy Forge, even remotely, please, please tell us, please. And concept artists. Yeah, that too, that too. Artists in general, if you if you like doing art, if you like Halo, and you want to, you know, give it a shot, contact and us. Like, and if you like Val and you want to work under him, yeah, there you go. I promise I'm a really, I promise I'm a really good boss. I only make you sleep outside twice a week. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, he, I, he won't make you do it when it's raining. It's okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's totally, totally agreeable. Uh, my last question for this: um, If you guys could, could you possibly make? And it could be for any other game, a mod version for a ground battle, because you all know people love the ground battles too for Halo. I mean, it's not just ships, but you gotta be on the ground too with Spartans and kicking ass. And fuck yeah, Halo Wars. Yeah, sorry, I... but sorry, screw Halo Wars. Well, the whole, uh, usually the, well, what we say is the whole idea for the project is space isn't very well represented in Halo. It's not shown in the games or any of the books that is a lot. True. That is and true. so, you know, the focus of the mod and Sins of the Prophets in general is space combat. And it, it would be, you know, it would always be cool to see, you know, a space and ground combat game, you know, in the same universe and the same, using the same assets, same team and all that. But the problem with it is and you know doing it on sins it's impossible there's there's no ground mode in sins Sadly. and uh doing it in older games like you know empire at war is a little bit tough you know a lot of the modders are slowly dying out on that and then yeah, i noticed that oh, too boy, it's that fireworks going off in the background i'm sorry people but uh, i don't hear any basically um you know, it, it would be impossible to implement in Sins, unfortunately. There's just no ground combat. and the, Currently, there isn't really any modern games that support space and ground. So, until, like, say something like Sins 2 comes out and maybe they have ground implemented, there's really nothing we can do. And, you, you know, we don't know if we would want to. In, in, That's true. It was, just not, it was just an idea because, you know, <laughs> it would be really cool if, I mean, you, if you could have the space it, battle it, actually affect the ground battle and vice versa. Uh, there's just too much macro. There's just too much macro management at that point. 
and micro. It's impossible to make that much at once. Yeah, especially oh. in real time and like four times. It would be very hard, you know, you'd be in space, micromanaging your fleet and the space combat, and then you'd zoom in, and there'd, there'd be a ton of soldiers. It would be a little bit unplayable. If if implemented, you know, very well, it would be kind of hard to micromanage. It'd be fun. Might make you want to pull your hair out. Oh, I, I'm going bald anyway. Mm. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, so, or are you? No. <laughs> Just no. <laughs> So, uh, anything else you guys want to talk about this mod or anything like that? It's, there's, well, we, there's always, of course, there is, of course, our sister mod uh, that we have on home fronts. Uh, oh, I've home seen home that one too. Home front, also in space. Yeah, Maybe cool guys. Some really cool stuff there. They're doing a lot of stuff. They're ramping up development, making a lot of new assets. They're doing a lot of cool stuff over at Homefront. You want to look them up? Go on ModDB and look up Homefront. I will also leave a link to that down in the description down below. Um, but I'd like to thank you guys for coming out, uh, spending some uh, time away from your lives and your work to come and do this interview. I really appreciate you guys. Actually, I'm okay, actually doing fine. work on mod-related work as we speak. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> as am I. <laughs> Alright. No. Well, thank you, everybody, for watching. If you have any comments, such and feedback about this episode, or if you have any questions for these four awesome individuals leave a comment in the description down below they will be watching and uh watching this video and they'll be checking the comments and just making sure if you guys have any questions they'll answer them um thank you all for watching and i'll see you guys in the next episode take care guys and have a wonderful day